Yeah, the title says it all right there. We are back for another season of the Borderland Blitz, sponsored by Southwest University. I'm Adrian Ochoa, joined once again by the one and only Rachel Phillips. The one and only, hey, I'll, I'll take yeah. that. Thank you very much. Well, uh, I'm at a loss for it. It's been nine months since our last show. In November, early yeah. November, we have 12 weeks of the Borderland Blitz, and just like that, those nine months just went by so quickly. Gone, and now we're back. And now we're back, and of course, on week one, with all the stress of all the new members of our crew, we get Mother Nature to also play a factor in, in our first week of the Borderland Blitz. A lot of games delayed, some of them still going on right now. Be patient with us as we try to track down these scores, because again, a lot of games still going on right now as we speak. I think Doppler actually dialed this up. I think he wanted to cause a little <laughs> more chaos than what there usually is on uh, Borderland Blitz nights, because there always is a lot, but this just kind of put it up a notch. Well, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's check in our first slate of games under the Friday Night Lights, and we had some good ones out there tonight. Check in with our starting lineup. Our game of the week was a battle of the birds, a class 5A versus 6A showdown between the East Lake Falcons and the Andrus Eagles. We're also checking in on the Eastwood Troopers. They were in the Dallas area tonight for a tough matchup against the South Lake Carroll Dragons. And then closer to home, we had a high school version of the Battle of I-10 as the Centennial Hawks paid a visit to the Sun City to take on Franklin Cougars. Well, let's go ahead and start off with our game of the week, the second straight year, the Eastwood Troopers. We're going to go ahead and go with that game. The Eastwood Troopers kicked off their season in the Dallas area for a matchup against the South Lake Carroll Dragons. The Dragons won the first meeting last year, so the Troopers were hoping to get some retribution. But again, it would be a tough night for the Troopers who found themselves down by four scores early in the second quarter here. But this pass from quarterback Evan Minjares to Rudy Garcia would finally get Eastwood on the board in this one. However, South Lake Carroll was not done driving up the score. They weren't going to let up on the gas one bit as you're going to see this screen pass right here. Put the Dragons on the board once again to extend their lead. This one was all South Lake Carroll as the Dragons all over the Troopers in this one by a final score of 70 to 21. Yeah, then we're going to take you to the Montmorency Rams. They were also on the road. They were taking on the Midland High Bulldogs. First game for Montmorency's new head coach, Ivan Rangel El Paso. Kicks this over to Elijah McCoy on the opening kick return. He dodges defenders and he finds some open space. He turns on the Jets as he takes it to the house for a touchdown to begin the 2023 season. We have to speed it up. Look how fast he yeah, that's there. how Yeah, that's how long that run was because we have to speed it up. Bulldogs added two more on a conversion right here. Second possession and they were on the goal line. The handoff goes to McCoy uh, again there. They are going up again. So goal line here. And that is a massive tackle and stop right there for Midland. It's pretty hard to stop that. Midland with the ball back again. This time it's the QB with the spiral ball. Ooh, that's pretty. He's in open space right there. Number 26 in for the touchdown. Once again, Midland just cruising here. He's got another spiral up. And yep, this time it's another receiver, number four, taking it to the house. It's easy does it there for Midland. Uh, they go on to win that one. There you see it right there. 39-2-7, massive win there. And a tough start for yeah. Coach Rangel in his first team. But I mean, playing a Midland team, that's always pretty tough. Yeah, that's always tough to go play, especially over in Midland as well. But we'll bring it back to the Sun City for an El Paso versus Las Cruces clash, the Centennial Hawks. Came on down to El Paso for a game against the Franklin Cougars. The Hawks looking to rebound after last weekend's loss to Rio Rancho Cleveland, while the Cougs looking to start their season in the win column. As I mentioned, a lot of delays tonight, and this game was no exception. It was delayed an hour due to weather, but both teams would eventually take the field. Franklin made it to the by-district round of the playoffs last season, while Centennial made it to the state semifinal. So two very good teams in this one. In the first quarter here, Franklin quarterback Shea Smith bobble the snap right there and Centennial going to be all over it. Turnover there. Hawks in business, but Franklin's defense would hold. No score in the second quarter. Franklin's Shea Smith to Gerald Williams and Mr. Williams will get the touchdown. And then check out what happens on the extra point attempt. Below snap. So Elias Rangel is going to have to improvise. Picks it up and 
You know what? Why get one point when you can get two? Two-point conversion, good. Franklin up 8-0. Then later in the quarter, Cougars on the move again. Handoff to Jordan Morales and run, Jordan, run. Got plenty of space using the speed. And Jordan Morales, welcome to Zone City, my friend. Cougars, Cougars extend their lead 15-0. But finally, you know you weren't going to hold this Centennial team down as Centennial quarterback Daniel Hernandez will keep it himself. And he'll turn on the Jets. Nothing but green turf in front of him. Touchdown Hawks, as that made it 15 to seven. Franklin still with the lead, and currently, as we're again, this game's still underway, going on at Franklin Stadium. Franklin on top by a slim margin, 22 to 17. Yeah, I actually, just got a quick text update from our photographer who's out there. 29 to 17, Franklin up with just a few seconds left in the fall. So it looks like they will hold on to the uh, high school level of the Battle of I-10. Yeah, right there. Franklin will get the win to start the year one and zero. While Centennial, unfortunately, that's they're going to drop to zero and two, which is a, a bit of a surprise for a Centennial squad. It's pretty consistent every every season. Yeah, especially after going so deep in uh, New Mexico playoffs last year. But hey, we struggled to get you this early yeah. in the show, so we're going to take you there now. Our game of the week, East Lake making the trip out to Northeast El Paso tonight to take on Andrews. Both teams made the playoffs last season, and they're poised to make another run for 2023. Uh, Andrews and East Lake haven't missed a playoff since 2012, which is kind of wild. Andrews has made the playoffs every year since 2003. East Lake has made it. They've only missed it once in 2012 in their school history. Yeah, wow. Tonight's game of the week, Falcons versus Eagles. A battle of the birds, East Lake first half. East Lake's Julio Escosta with a QB keeper. That puts them up 7-0. But then Luke Lomelli, we've said his name a yeah. lot in this show with a pass to Ivan Madrano. He's going to take it in around so many Andrews players at the 30, at the 20. He gets a nice help there from his number one partner, and he's into the end zone. They go up now. So tied at seven, then later, Acosta into the end zone, just punches it off, off the handoff of Lomelli. They're up 21 uh, nil now. And Luke Lomelli. Now he's gonna go to the sky in this one there. Light work of it. That's to Adam Kirtley for a TD. They're up 27 nil at the half right there. So we'll keep you posted tomorrow on a final score of that one. Yeah, this game was delayed an hour and a half. So that's why uh, you're seeing uh, you're barely halftime over at Andrews right now, but Eastlake with the comfortable lead, 27 to nil. And actually, let's take you, if we can, give you a live look of this game because we do have a photographer out there, Jerry Nahara, putting in the there hard work out there on a late Friday night after all of these weather delays. You can see uh, just a bit of a stop in play right here. Looks like uh, Andrews is going to get the ball here yeah, on the 40-yard line, see if they can... Uh, make some work, make something happen. I think they're still scoreless in this game. Yeah, and 27 nil at the half. So trying to put some points on the board and at least test Eastlake a bit, maybe get some confidence going into the second week. Uh, here we go for a play from the 40 yard line live here on the Borderland Blitz due to weather delays. Snap is off. Number nine QB with the pass. It's complete to number two. Skips out of a tackle, gets a five yard gain on that play. So moving the chains just slightly, maybe not a first down. Oh, I see the markers moving. So maybe it isn't back to first down. Uh, so that game's still going on. Like I said, we'll give you full highlights and uh, complete score of that one tomorrow and here. Andrews head coach Chris Taylor, I'm sure trying to rally up the troops, try to make this a game. But again, 27 to nil right now in the third quarter. We'll of course keep you posted throughout the show, give you score updates on this game still going on over at Andrews High. Yeah, but for now, let's take you to El Paso High School. You see the cloud rolling over. That set the game back more than 30 minutes like it did for so many games. It wasn't the Tigers in action, though. It was the 6A Coronado Thunderbirds taking on the 5A Chapman Huskies due to bleacher issues at Coronado, but no issues for the T-Birds themselves. Down 10-0 in the second. And Ola Beck with the bullet to Blake Randack. He gets inside the 10 right here. Looks like he might have gone all the way, but couldn't quite get there. Then Levesque this time with the pass that goes in untouched right there that's to wilson 10-7 but chapin they'd extend the lead back out quickly husky sophomore superstar davion singles in with the pass to damian garcia he grabs it off the fingertips evades pretty much everyone gets downfield they kick the field goal off the end of that 
to take a lead again. 13 to seven Huskies is all smiles right there, but not for long. The T-Birds determined to be up at the half with 11 seconds left. Lebec finds Wilson again hey, for Mr. a second Wilson. TD of the night. Yeah, we've got another Wilson in the building. T-Birds yeah. go up 14 to 13. You see the student check section cheering loud and proud, and that's because the T-Birds go on to win it 17 to 13. One and oh for Coronado. We'll next head to the sack for a doubleheader first game of the day. Feature the Socorro Bulldogs playing host to the Westerners from Lubbock. Carla Petrowski, handoff to Jeremiah Johnson. He runs around the entire crew all the way to the outside. Bulldogs is in from 35 yards out to get the score. But then Socorro answering back. Jacob Gonzalez to Esteban Reeves with a seven-yard pass to tie it in the first six minutes. But uh, Socorro couldn't hold on for long. Lubbock went on to win this one, 37 to 27. Kudos to Socorro, though, hanging tough with uh, a tough Lubbock team, only losing by 10 points today. That's a, still a heck of a start for, for Socorro. Well, the nightcap over at the SAC featured another 6A versus 5A matchup. The Parkland Matadors taking on the El Dorado Aztecs. Parkland had a strong season in Lima Quarter's first year as coach. A seven-win season. Right here, the pass gets intercepted by Parkland's Anthony Carrillo. Gets a handout, and he's going to, not, not done yet, they're finally going to take him down there. And as you'll see, the band busting out some nice moves there. That's the El Dorado band. There you'll see Parkland right up the gut. Quarterback keeper. Parkland tries a two-point conversion but fails it. Parkland up 26 to 22. This game's still in progress in the fourth quarter, but you see right here, Parkland up by just four points right now. While well, turning to Las Cruces, the home opener it was supposed to be the home opener for the Mayfield Trojans. They're coming off their season opener, but let's go ahead and show you what was happening over at the Field of Dreams. You see uh, no home opener at all. Oh. In fact, no game at all. The Mayfield game between the Trojans and the Santa Teresa Desert Warriors was canceled after they waited about a good like hour and a half before they made the call to cancel it. Uh, as the last check, they're not planning to reschedule this game, so that's uh, it's just that, sad. It's, it's sad so to much, see. But, so much uh, anticipation, adrenaline for yeah. the home opener, and then rain. Player safety, fan yes, safety, no, no, that of course takes, played, the, takes the priority, but no, I know it's not the way that Mayfield draw it up, but they started off great last week against Manzano, 55 to nil win over Manzano, so you knew Mayfield was ready to go. Yeah, tonight. they, they wanted so. to go 2-0 though, that's, that's the issue yeah. right here, yeah. Well hey, let's take you through our lineup coming up after the break. Del Valle at Burgess, this one, you better watch out for the new QB at Del Valle, because he is a star. And then also we'll check in, I know Paso's Lower Valley where the Riverside Rangers paid a visit to the Isleta Indians and uh, our War of the Week is back. And that is coming up after the break with Edis, our new host for the War of the Week. anywhere, even in everyday products. But you can be ready for an emergency by saving this number now. It can help save time, money, and even a life. Call us if your child has been exposed to a poison. Call us to talk about medications and possible side effects. We can address everything from bug bites to natural disasters. Our medical experts are ready 24-7, and your call is free and confidential. Don't wait for an emergency. Save this number now and do a number on poison. Peter Piper Pizza, fun is celebrated. Our games are next level, and our pizza is always made from scratch. Bring the team, bring the family, bring your hunger for fun, excitement, and the tastiest handcrafted pizza. There's more to share with the Double Up deal. Get two large one-topping pizzas on dough made fresh daily for just $24.99. Peter Piper Pizza, pizza made fresh, families made happy. News doesn't stop on weekends, and neither does ABC7. Whether you're an early riser or like to sleep in, ABC7 has more choices than ever to start your Saturday right. Good Morning El Paso is on from 6 to 7. It's GMA weekend from 7 to 8. Good Morning El Paso is back from 8 to 9. Then GMA again from 9 to 10. For weather, traffic, sports, and complete coverage of breaking news, it's Good Morning El Paso and GMA. Saturday mornings from 6 to 10.
<laughs> what a tune. Relevant, but also yeah. it's a party in and here right now because Sam Harrison Woods is joining us for the first time ever on the Borderland Blitz. So excited to be here. And guys, I got up to two games on the east side, so I have no idea what all this rain you guys were talking about. But a spoiler yeah. alert about both these games, they weren't exactly even matchups that we saw at either one of these two. I'm going to start at Burgess with a new coach, Bernie Luna, and their team's getting their seasons kicked off with an exciting coin toss. Always fun to ring in the game. But honestly, that's about as much fun as Burgess would have all day because Del Valle was the talk of the town. Here we go, a throw from quarterback Jake Fetty to Dylan Gonzalez. That was within the first four minutes, and it was already seven to nothing. Del Valle would just keep that engine rolling. Fetty, again, this was my favorite play that I saw. He play action pass. He's going to scramble up the middle, and then he gets the goal and put his shoulder down. That is the quarterback's helmet flying to the back of the end zone. And Del Valle, the Conquistadors, will just keep it going because right here, you see the clap over the head. That means it's a safety, and that would make it 16 0. And then Fetty on a little slant there to Matt Lopez. The Conquistadors would keep it going. This is in eight minutes and 57 seconds. They were up 23 to nothing. Final score, an absolute steamrolling for the Del Valle Conquistadors over the Burgess Mustangs, 67 to 25. Now staying on the east side over at Hanks High School. This was right after a touchdown, because I want to apologize. I missed the touchdown, I was walking in, but here's a little consolation prize, the extra point. That made it 21 to nothing. Hanks has a new head coach in Scott Belize. And let me tell you, his regime got started nicely. There's an interception right after that touchdown that, yes, yeah, yeah, I missed. But here we go. Here's not wasting any time. A little pass out into the flat, and this would make it 28 to nothing for the Hanks Knights. He's loving it. The crowd loved it. And guys, let me tell you, what an absolute blowout. Oh, winning by about 30 points. Now, I will be back in just a few minutes to show you our blitz picks from today because we got some great submissions and we'll tell you who that winner of that $50 gift card will be. I'm excited to see the photos, but you know what, Sammy? Yeah. I'm more excited to have you on the show and also to see how Jake Fetty continues to progress throughout the season because that was an impressive effort from the first time QB over there at Del Valle. You wouldn't expect anything less from Del Valle's head coach, Ruben Contreras. It's just that's, that's the way he rolls, Del Valle. Always consistent and uh, a heck of a start for and, the Conquistadores. And, and Rachel, I gotta be honest, I'm gonna invoke his name, but he kind of looked like my Buffalo Bills quarterback, number 17, <laughs> just putting his head down and trucking someone at the goal line. So I was wondering, I'm a fan. I was wondering how many borderline blitzes we could get through without you using uh, the Buffalo Bills Zero. saying their name. Zero. 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 That's, a, that's a dedicated 18, fan right there. Folks. 18 minutes. That's how long it took. Well, Sammy, thank you. We'll join you in just a bit for those Blix picks. But let's take you to El Paso's yeah. Lower Valley. It was rivalry week over there. The true pride of the Lower Valley up for grabs for these other Indians and the Riverside Rangers. A lot of people interested to see how the Rangers will go this year without Speedy Munoz and Jose Guardado. And, well, let's just say it was all East letter in this At one. At least early on in the game, yeah. Yeah, East Evan letter. Martinez with the pop-off to DeAndre Jackson. He scoots in around every bloody Riverside Ranger on the field, jumps to the outside. He's got speed to burn, gets in there for the touchdown. That right there puts East Letter up and uh, yeah, come on. Dancing Indian right there. This time the pass is back to uh, my Jackson, I think, for a 30 yard TD. Yeah, and in he goes again. That's two touchdowns right there but they weren't done yet, East Letter. Martinez, back with the ball in hand, keeps it himself, scoots inside and straight into the end zone. He goes for another score. They're up 21 nil before the half, but... That's why I was saying yeah, I didn't it, know it that. was all East Letter at the beginning, but when you look at the final score, Riverside made a, made a comeback here, made it a game, but wow. Riverside ends up falling by just one point, 34 to 33, the win goes to East Letter. Still a heck of a game. Um, I, again, we were there at the beginning of the game. We left in the, in the second half when Riverside was making their comeback, but that's how that played out. Let's go ahead and go to Irvin High School, Northeast El Paso. This game was also delayed. The Northeast, the West Side, they were just hit with storms today. Lightning was flashing in the distance, but a storm was brewing between the Rockets and the Highlanders here. The Highlanders were high-stepping their way to the end zone from the start. Ballers, Christopher Davis, ran for touchdown early in the game. Then later, Andres, Andres Medina, for the Rockets. Gonna lose his helmet right there, trying to move the ball to the midfield. The Rockets 
on their home field were fighting hard to keep Bel Air from the end zone, but that's where much of the action was. Bel Air kept extending their lead. The Rockets were digging in deep to keep the Highlanders down, but they were just struggling. And there you see again, right there, Highlanders. They'll take over from the two yard line. Final score in this one, the Bel Air Highlanders with a shutout over the Irvin Rockets by a final score of 53 to nil. Well, you know the best thing about storms are the sunsets you get after them. Nice shot there. Yeah, yeah thank you. I, I took that. It was Panthers versus Panthers in Central El Paso. The Austin Panthers playing host to the Panthers from Fort Stockton. Austin up 7-0 in the second. And Fort Stockton, well, they're just going to bulldoze their way in to tie it at 7 right here. So 7-7 seven, seven with just a couple minutes left in the half. Austin trying to regain the lead. They're slinging it left, folks. And then they're slinging it right, but nothing sticking for them. And Fort Stockton on fourth down. Watch this. They fake the punt and scamper for a first down pickup. And then get this. Their first choice off a play like that, yeah, they just go for the simple handoff and absolutely snuffed out by Austin's D. I was like, what are you doing? I don't want Fort Stockton to win. We, we go for El Paso teams. To, yeah. But I was like, guys, you just put off an awesome effort right there and then you just hand it off. Fort Stockton go on to beat Austin 21 to 13. Some Panther on Panther violence tonight over at Austin High. Well, it's time for our War of the Week and we got a new host this season. This is, you might have seen him. She's our new storm tracker, Iris Garcia Baron, the new host of the War of the Week. So let's send it to Iris. All right, we're back with War of the Week. We have Jefferson versus Horizon on this side. And the great thing is that we have Southwest University that the winning team gets to take home a $50 gift card that you guys get to splurge on each other. Are you guys ready? All right. It's going to be in the count of three for you guys to help them out. One, two. Congratulations, ladies! $50 gift card brought to you by Southwest University. Thank Give you. us a cheer! Give us a cheer! Yeah, you, you noticed there at the end, $50 gift cards that we're giving to the winning teams of the War of the Week. That's new, what we're doing this season. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's all thanks to Southwest University. Massive shout out to them for making that happen. Because the cheerleaders, they were pretty stoked yeah. about it. I mean, who doesn't want $50? I'd take $50. Definitely. You could buy some more pom-poms with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, lots of things you could do with $50. Well, coming up after the break, we're going to give another $50 gift card, this time for the winner of the Blitz Picks. That's coming up after the break. We're checking with Sam. Looking for a place to store all your stuff? RE Shipping Containers is the perfect solution. We buy, sell, and rent storage containers for your furniture, valuable, job materials, or anything you want to keep safe. They're weatherproof and have plenty of space. RE Shipping Containers, 2851 Pershing Drive. Have you ever dreamed of working in New York City or Chicago? Enroll now at Culinary Institute by Southwest University in our associate's degree in culinary arts and get the opportunity. Get innovative guidance and education from chefs Carlos Gaetan, Mikel Alonso, and Jonathan Gomez Luna. Finish in only two years by learning from three of the best chefs in the world and become a culinary professional only at Culinary Institute by Southwest University. For more information, visit us at southwestuniversity.edu. Culinary Institute by Southwest University, a passion for food. The beach ball game with cash prizes. Beach ball bazingo at Sunland Park. You'll yell for bazingo for your share of $160,000. Beach ball bazingo, Tuesdays and Thursdays through September 21st. Sunland Park Racetrack and Casino. Coming to the CW. Let's go. The show the pros watch is now for everyone. The pass rush is what we want. Inside the NFL. Premieres Tuesday, September 5th on the El Paso Las Cruces CW. Looking for a place to store all your stuff? RE Shipping Containers is the perfect solution. We buy, sell, and rent storage containers for your furniture, valuable, job materials, or anything you want to keep safe. They're weatherproof and have plenty of space. RE Shipping Containers, 2851 Pershing Drive.
Well, welcome back to the Borderland Blitz as we've been talking about all night. Games cancelled left, right and centre. Another one of those is San Ellie and Anthony. That one yeah. unfortunately getting cancelled due to weather. So no highlights from that game. Not too sure if it's getting rescheduled or not. We'll keep you posted on that. But uh, one thing we do know is that Sam is back with us. Let's picks. Winner. They're back again for another year. Sammy, any good submissions this week? Oh, Rachel, Adrian, we got absolutely great submissions this week. And we can't wait to get more over the rest of the season. But let me start off with this. This one, this is from Ray Novato of the Bel Air and Urban game. We actually got a call saying that that game ended up at 60 to nothing. So it seems like Bel Air just can't stop scoring. The game's over and they might still be scoring. Not really sure, but look at the shot running into the end zone. And then who doesn't love a good pick of El Paso High? One of the prettiest places you can be in the whole area, in my opinion. And now, guys, we got a bunch of great submissions, but I got to show you the winner. And this week's winner of that $50 gift card is Come this on. shot. Parkland El Dorado from Miss Melissa Soto. You can see a little receiver on corner action, some mano e mano action right by the goal line too. So maybe run a little little fade out to the back pylon there for a touchdown. We'll have to see. But congratulations, Melissa. Thank you so much for the picture, and thank you so much to everyone who submitted. Hopefully, we can get so many great submissions next week too. And in the the caption there, it was from a freshman game oh, from, cool. from the Parkland. So yeah, any any time you're out at uh, any any of the games, JV freshman. Go ahead, take, snap submit a pic, the picks. submit it, kvia.com slash play. That's as easy as that. And then you're you're entered into one of $50 gift cards. Sammy, thank you. We'll be Thanks, back Sam. here with you next week, of course. And Adrian, mm -hmm. with the Borderland Blitz making its triumphant return tonight, so too does our mascot, Blitzy the Bear. Of course. Yeah, what? we couldn't do it without him. Let me tell you, he is as popular as ever. I was at the Jeff Horizon game yesterday, and I left him in the car because I didn't have enough hands. And Coach Castor at Jeff told me he would take him around and I think he made a new best friend. It's nice, nice of him. Yeah, take a look at this. It's incredible. It's a match made in heaven. He took him to the drum line, got to play some drums, old Blitz he did. Then he's with some of the uh, student government, student co out there in front of the stands. You can see, this is my favorite, getting some nachos. Come on. Can't go wrong. He nachos got more food than I did. Yeah. yeah. And then look at this, doing the way to the children's love. hospital. Yeah. We love that massive shout out to Coach Castaneda for uh, taking him around. Let's see the bear, our favorite bear cup right there. And at least he was out at yesterday's game when the weather was nice. Yes, and yes. <laughs> not out. Uh, I don't know if his fur would have done well with the, yeah. the rain today. So thankfully for him. <laughs> Well, there are uh, plenty more to come. We're going to go ahead and recap the scores from week one action. That's coming up after the break. We'll also check in in that game over at the sack between the Parkland Matadors and the El Dorado Aztecs. That's after the break. Hi, El Paso parents. Open enrollment for Socorro ISD's new elementary academies is now open to all students in the region. They provide specialized instruction with innovative hands-on learning in state-of-the-art labs and allow your child to focus their interests in fine arts, science, technology, environmental science, healthy living, and well-being. Apply today at SISD.net and seize your opportunity in Team SISD, the right choice for endless opportunities. everything I need to come back to school, including all my vaccines. Did you know vaccines protect us from serious diseases like the measles, mumps, and COVID-19? Make sure you're current with all your routine vaccines. Visit one of the city's community clinics and get vaccinated. They're open Tuesday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to noon. Visit ephealth.com for more information. Drive in grand style and luxury in a Grand Cherokee from Viva, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat of Las Cruces. Begin your new adventure in a 2023 Grand Cherokee at $7,500 off MSRP. Come in to our new and renovated dealership at 860 North Telcher Boulevard today and test drive the SUV designed for your family and budget. What's your Viva style? We'll help you find it in a Grand Cherokee from Viva, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat of Las Cruces. Yeah, taking you out live to Andrews High School where this game just went final. The teams were shaking hands. It was between the Eastlake Falcons and the Andrews Eagles. Eastlake goes on to win this one by way of shutout 33 to nil over the Andrews Eagles. A statement, statement victory for, for the Eastlake Falcons. Yeah, big way to kick off the season. Congrats to Coach Rodriguez and the entire uh, Eastlake mm -hmm. 
family out there. Obviously, that was our game of the week. We wanted to get right, down yeah. with them, but as you just saw, the game just wrapped up. So, unfortunately, no sound for that one, but uh, we will have some sound from Franklin tomorrow, mm -hmm. as well as recaps of the scores that we don't have yet. But we do want to get you a look right now of all the scores from so far that we have been able to gather in right. even during these weather delays. Some of these we're still trying to track down, but let's go ahead and show you what we've got so far. You saw our game of the week, uh, Eastlake getting the win over Andrews, 33 to nil. If we can go ahead and take those graphics Please to show you the recaps from week one action. There we go. Okay, now you see, we told you the final. Eastlake did get the win over Andrews, 33 to nil. Centennial, Franklin. Franklin, Franklin did. Franklin won 29 to 17. 29 to 17. Franklin gets the win over Centennial. Franklin 1 and 0 on the season. Centennial now 0 and 2 on their season. Lubbock gets the dub over Socorro today by 10, 37-27. South Lake Carroll all over the Eastwood Troopers, 70 to 21. Midland winners over Montwood, 39 to 7. And Coronado gets a win over Chapin in a close one, 17 to 13. Taking a look at some more scores now, if we maybe can bring them up for you. I want to try and get you through all the scores here to take you out for the rest of the show here. Parkland over El Dorado, 26 to 22. Del Valle off the back of QB. Jake Fetty, 67 to 25 over Burgess. Hanks getting a big time win over Bowie, 56 to 32. In uh, Scott Belize's first time as a head coach of the Hanks Knights, Bel Air. Donutting Irvin, 60 to zero. East Letter and Riverside, I cannot believe the way that yeah. game turned out. It looked like it was all East Letter, but Riverside making it a close one, but East Letter go on to win 34 to 33. And then Fort Stockton with a 21 to 13 win over Austin. Mountain View over Alpine tonight. They were playing over, they were in Alpine, Texas. The Lobos were 43 to 36. Mountain View starts their season in the win column. Fabens, winners over Chaparral, 19 to 8. San Al the San Elizario Anthony game was canceled. That was also the same deal with the Santa Teresa Mayfield game over at the Field of Dreams. Both games canceled due to weather. We know for a fact Santa Teresa Mayfield will not be made up. San Elizario Anthony, still not sure if that game will be rescheduled at a later time. Recapping the games from last night, Pebble Hills got the win over Kenneth Deal and a game-winning field goal for the Spartans. Crazy. Horizon over Jefferson, 15 to nil. Gazden winners over El Paso, 21 to 14. And Hershey over Clint in a shutout, 34 to nil. Those games from Thursday night. Somehow, uh, Adrian, we survived week one. Not yeah. too sure how <laughs> we got here, but we're here. We Ho did it. Hopefully next week, Mother Nature is a little bit more tolerable. Yeah, and yeah. we're not having these delays that uh, get makes it difficult to track down the scores. We'll also get highlights for some of them because then if the, the games like, are, are so late, we're getting in highlights at, at a later time than what we're normally used to on a normal week. But I can tell you, though, next week, we're looking ahead to week two, Pebble Hills versus Del Valle. Calling it right now. That's our. It's going to be our game of the oh, week for next early, week. Cool. All right. I mean, I don't. I, seeing what Del Valle did to Burgess yeah. and Pebble Hills winning in the, Just the, the, the against yeah, Canatio. as close as it was against a tough kind of deal squad. I don't see any other game from next week. Looking at the schedule, what's better than that? Spartans and uh, the Conquistadores next Another week. Another thing you have to look forward to next week. Sweet play of the week is back. I'm going to delve yeah. into all the highlights we just showed you tonight right. and pick out your three best and you guys get to voting on Sunday night as to who should get the cupcakes, the first cupcakes of 2023. Yeah, and, and maybe they'll buy it. That, uh, Fetty, Jake Fetty, straight, into, that, the straight into the end zone, losing his helmet in the could process, be, could be a nominee. Be. Could and be hey, nominee. if you're a coach or a player watching this right now and there's a play that we didn't right. get ourselves that you think should be a sweet play nominee, just shoot it across to us, email it, tweet, it, tweet us, whatever. We'll consider it. Not saying it's guaranteed entry, but we'll consider it. Yeah, we do take in the submissions as well. If you're obviously, we can't be at every single play and get highlights for those, but uh, submit it if you see something cool. But uh, that's going to do it for week one, a rainy edition, week one for the Borderland Blitz. We'll see you in week two. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you for watching. ABC7 News is now available on any of these streaming services, as well as the KVIA News and KVIA Weather and Traffic apps.